Hi, this is Johnny Buell. You're watching the Art Live video blog. This is day 55. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. I'm Christopher Hoisington, and this is Jacob Wolf. My name is Jacob Wolf, and this is Phil. Phil. Phil's an actor in uh, Johnny's uh, film that he's working on. So uh, we were talking about you going. To... You got two engineering degrees in a in a in an education further education, education in the movie direction mm -hmm. through Portland State, and what was the other one? Uh, Northwest Film Center. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, Portland Community Media, right down the street here. Is this the first film you've written? Uh, first feature length film, yeah. Okay. For sure. I've done a bunch of really short, stupid films, and this is my first really long, stupid film. Are, are your short films on, like, a YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, username, My Toes Are On Fire, all one word. My, my toes, toes Are On Fire. fire. Uh -huh. There's a lot of like, it's, it's not a very clean YouTube channel. Like I wouldn't, when I say clean, I mean like, I mean it's definitely dirty, but I mean like it's not, I'll just throw anything up there that yeah. I feel like. So it's yeah, not whatever. Dirty. So it's yeah. not exclusive to your films or shorts. Yeah. So what's the name of the one you're working on right now? Uh, this one's called The Unquenchable Thirst for Boner Juice. <laughs> is that the name of it? <laughs> That's a pretty incredible title. Mm -hmm. And the plot, is readily available in the title too, I think. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. It's like it's every man's journey, really, the film. Um, the main, the, that's the bad guy's name's in the title. He's, that's Bo, his first name's Bo, and his last name is Nerjuice. It's like a Belgian uh, name. Okay. And, uh, and so the bad, so the main guy is trying to, you know, he has an unquenchable thirst to beat this guy because he's done some bad things to his mother and, uh, in the world in general, I guess. Yeah. An unquenchable thirst for boner juice. Mm -hmm. So it's like a play on words. It's a, because uh, boner juice is having this strong desire to do what you said. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rather than He's having a thirst that he needs to drink something, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like a metaphor. Like, like boner juice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, who's the main character in... Uh, his name is Ron. He's played by uh, Jeffrey Janoff. His name is Jeffrey. We interviewed Jeffrey Janoff, and mm -hmm. he was the reason that we got introduced to you. Mm -hmm. He mentioned your name and said that we should contact you. Yeah, he's awesome. He's incredible. Yeah. Did uh, you meet him through the project, or was he friend of yours before? Oh, uh, we'd worked on another project uh, called Infinite Issues that he was an actor in, and... Cool. Uh, and we were actually, when we started this movie, you know, we, had, we hadn't cast him yet. Like, we'd, we'd done a couple of uh, casting sessions or whatever they're called. And we weren't sure if it was going to be him or if it was going to be this other guy that, that helped write the movie. And, uh, and we actually started shooting it before we'd even made the decision, you know. We just hadn't shot any of his scenes yet. And then, uh, I'm so glad that we, <laughs> we chose him because he, like... He makes the movie um, like at least twenty percent more watchable from the like negative seven percent. It is watchable. <laughs> it's like a good whatever those numbers are added together. Like so it's like thirteen percent. Like thirteen percent. Yeah. Like he's amazing. Like he, and and you met him and he's like just super likable and like yeah. his ability to play a likable character is really great, especially for this. How many actors are in the film? Oh God, I don't know. Like. Uh, uh -huh. 30? Yeah. 30 maybe? No. 20? 20, 20? 20 some extras? Okay. What, uh, you said that you've been working on it for a while. Mm -hmm. For how many months? Well, we wrapped it in, um, August, but we, we like, because I, you know, had, I can't really get my shit together. It took about six or seven years to shoot that's not true it took about a year and a half to shoot uh like 47 actual days of the live movie. action the yeah. live action yeah because there's going to be him yeah in it too a lot, of, a lot of clay animation um but gosh yeah i guess we started shooting it in the summer of 2013 so and you're two and a half years you're all finished with it now uh i'm still editing and, and i'm about 60 percent done with uh the claymation 
Is it the claymation? Is it is it uh, added into the live action, or is it um, mm -hmm. on its own? It's yeah. It's all shot on a green screen. All this is on a green screen. Oh, okay. So it is in the shots, like talking to to Jeffrey. Wow, and some of the other characters. And this Phil, he he plays a character in the movie. What's his name in the movie? Uh, so Ron knows him as just his, the booty worm. You know, his booty worm. But when he talks to his friends, they all call him Phil. Oh, okay. Other, okay. His other booty worm brethren. He's a booty worm. Mm -hmm. He's, uh... He's covered in poop. Yeah. He looks like a friendly guy, though. Oh, yeah, he's super nice. He's, he's a good guy. I mean, if something comes out of your behind, you really would like it to be friendly. Yeah. Or goes into your behind. You yeah. Want to be friendly too. I want that to be friendly too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, what's your projection for getting it done? Um, so, I'd like to get a uh, picture lock within the next month here, and then uh, two, give it two months for sound design. Uh, so, what is that? March? End of yeah, March? It'll put you into March, April, maybe. Yeah. But I would have liked to have been done six months ago. Yeah. That would have been my, my preference. <laughs> I think it's part of filmmaking though, right? Is everything I mean, especially when you're when you're trying to support yourself, because obviously you're not getting paid for the film yet. No. You know, you, you just kinda have to do it when you can, right? Yeah. You haven't been able to work on it full time and all that, right? Uh no, I that's what I've been doing. Yeah. yeah like because I'm getting eight seconds a day. Um, I, you know, I had a lot of money saved up and I'm doing a lot of, uh, crappy freelance jobs that help pay the bills. Oh, good. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that, yeah, it's really hard to, to do a project that takes so long and then like to not give up on something, even though all you want to do is like blow your brains out and not finish it. <laughs> so, so I'm, I haven't done that yet. I'm really happy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you waited until after the interview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. This would look nice with a nice red slot. We could put you on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Over. Yeah, we'll just put your face over. He, uh, that's a painting in the background that uh, Johnny Buell did. That's John Ritter sitting on the toilet. Ritter uh, on the shitter. Nice Ritter head. on the shitter. He's uh, a sexy man, let me tell you. This is before I, oh, I still don't know how to paint body hair. Oh, it's great. It's like a cheetah kind of. It's great. I love it. I like the perspective too. Oh, yeah. It's like you're a kitty cat. <laughs> Looking up at him, right? Or a little dog, maybe. <laughs> yeah. What's he thinking? <laughs> Just a little puppy. He's got a nice grin on his face. Uh, do you have any other? projects in, in the works for the future or what's your goal ultimately uh, are you going to become a full-time filmmaker um, um, I don't know we'll see <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I mean I have I have other projects and ideas but uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do those in this lifetime what do you want to do with the the film that you're doing now like are you wanting to show it at film festivals yeah yeah, I'd like to. I don't know. I mean, the the like the I would say the like the level of the filmmaking, like what it looks like, like it looks like a real movie. Um, the actual uh, heart of it and the writing is just not not a real movie. Right. You know, like I wouldn't say like it's it's definitely not good, but it's not um, it's different. It's like a different thing. You know, like it's like different. But you know, there's nothing wrong with that because, uh, I mean, in fact, that's like, what was it, Mall Rats? Or not Mall Rats, uh, what was it? No, no the, I'm thinking of uh, the guy who did Dogma, what's his name? Oh, Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith. His first movie was... Clerks? Clerks. Yeah. And it was horrible. Yeah. The filming was terrible and the acting was worse. <laughs> but the dialogue was was he had some pretty good lines in it. I couldn't watch it. I watched about a half an hour of it, and I was like, because uh, I was studying <laughs> acting at the time, and yeah. I just could not. There was a long time there I could not watch bad acting. I just couldn't do it. It made me crazy. I can do it now. I'm not so uppity anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this will have. Well, this has great acting and terrible acting. 
and uh, but sometimes the camp, bad. you know, the bad acting makes it a little campy, you know, and camp camp sells. Yeah. And believe me, you know, in L.A., the the number of people who are making shit, and I mean shit, just garbage movies with titties in them, you know, like no storyline, horrible dialogue. Piranha? Making a, well, that's a big budget movie. I know. <laughs> it was still really terrible. But I'm telling you, there's tits. people down there <laughs> yeah. making, they're making crappy movies and, and um... By the billions, by the billions, without even making any effort to write anything at all. You know, they figure, oh, if I can hire a stripper to show her tits, I got a movie. And the fact is, is they do. They can get it on Netflix and they can get paid for garbage. I saw that thing on Netflix. I was in it, actually. What was it it's called? called uh, no, it was called uh, uh, Blood Strippers or something like that. And these were, uh, it was a vampire coven. In a strip club. Stripperland? No. Oh, it was called awesome. Vampire Strippers or something like that. Vampire Blood Strippers. Something like that. That sounds awesome. I'm yeah, yeah it was down. a coven of... It was a... down Piranhas. Vampire Strippers. Okay, this is good. <laughs> I, forget, I forget the guy who... who uh, I forget the guy's name who made it. I played a cop in it, and our police car was a little red 1969 Volkswagen. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how bad it was. That's not a cop car. Exactly, <laughs> and they and they and they digitally put in uh, the light on top. Like I had to roll down the window and stick my hand out the window, but we didn't have a we didn't have one of those lights that you put on top of the car. So they digitally put a, a light in my hand, and it was really bad. We have to watch this movie. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can find it anymore. I mean, it was like five or six years ago. I saw it show up on Netflix, but we have to find this movie. It was Dirk Titties in it. I do like. <laughs> Is that the tagline? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> watch this movie. There's titties in that it. That was the whole thing. That was his. The, the guy who made the movie. That was his whole thing. He just all he wanted was a movie where he had people get naked. Or women get naked. He didn't give a shit about the guys, but but so what I'm saying is like um, even Robert Rodriguez's first one, you know the one uh, Mariachi, the mm -hmm. first making of the Mariachi. That was I mean that was that was an okay movie, but he shot it on 16 millimeter and and he he tried to edit it in the camera. Like yeah. He knew that he didn't have to. I read his book. This is the only reason I know any of this, but he. Uh, he didn't have to make the guitar. Like, he threw a guitar at one point, and then he was going to climb up on this deck. Well, the guy threw the guitar, and it didn't go where it needed to go. It just went up, and it bounced off the rail and came back. And he said, that's good enough. Let's move on, you know, because he knew that he could just cut it, and it would look like the guitar went up there, you know. 